All right, y'all. Let me tell you about the iconic games that were released in 1992. This was the beginning of the 16-bit era right here. And games mm -hmm. were changing. The direction of games were changing. The graphics were getting better. Bangers. Bangers on bangers. It just felt like a different time. This was like turning the page from the NES era for sure. Super Mario Kart. I'd say, I mean, it's still one of the best games on the Switch. I love it on the Switch. I play it all the time. It, well, Super Mario Kart on the Super Nintendo was released September 1st, 1992. And it's just been a massive franchise. This game changed right Racing games. Many try to copy it after. It, it pretty much laid the groundwork for these type of games today. This competition fight style game. I love the Mario Kart scene in the Mario movie awesome. where they're on uh, Rainbow Road. <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog 2. This is easily the best Sonic the Hedgehog game in that era. They perfected this one. Really did. They took all the annoying shit from the first one, you know, took that out mm. or improved they on it. They saw what worked. Just the fact that you could hold down and then do the do the, the yeah. ball and then take off that was next level right there because you couldn't do that on the first one this is when tails showed up on the scene you know he could fly with his tail that was that was awesome uh the music on sonic the hedgehog 2 iconic I go back and listen to Sonic music a lot. I'm not exaggerating. I'll go to Spotify and type in Sonic the Hedgehog, either one, two, or three soundtracks and just listen to them because yeah. the shit is so nostalgic. It was a great game. And then, of course, y'all, released in August of 1992. Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat. What a fucking game. This game set the world on fire. You Talk about couldn't have a bigger buzz. Game. Didn't have a blood code? The blood code was only on the Genesis. How yeah. cool is that? The blood code was everything. Everything. Like you got Super Nintendo, you're weak. If you had it on Super Nintendo and you go to your buddy's house and you play in Genesis and you're like, what the fuck? This game is responsible for there being ratings on your games today. Yeah. Literally. This game, they introduced a, a, a bill, it passed, and they made a law where all games have to have a rating on them. Because, uh, you know, kids were just tricking the shit out of their parents and being like, buy me that game, buy me that game. Then they'd walk in the room and see somebody ripping somebody's skeletal fucking... Yeah, ripping their spine yeah. out. Street Fighter 2 in the same year. July 15th of 1992. It's two of the most iconic fighting games ever that came out the same fucking year. You were either like a Street Fighter dude or you were a Mortal Kombat dude. I'm not gonna lie. I was definitely a Mortal Kombat I dude. I was both. I couldn't not play both. They were just different. Mortal Kombat seemed more real like and crazy yeah. and, but Street Fighter seemed more cartoony and arcade-ish. And then remember how complicated the fucking moves were? Yeah, like you you, if you hit back, one. Back, back, up, up, A, B, A, B, yeah. down, swoosh around. If you hit one and you were like, yes. Oh, it was the best feeling ever. Now, as an adult trying to do that, I'm not doing it. I'm just button mashing until yeah. I fuck you up. The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past, Man. released April 13th, 1992. This is often referred to as the best game in the Legend of Zelda series. I mean, I'd say it's one of the best games of all time. This is the game that Shigeru Miyamoto was trying to create the whole time. When he had the idea, you know, when, when you hear him talk about uh, the first Legend of Zelda on the NES, about going into the caves and, uh, and exploring yep. places and going into the woods, this is the game in my opinion that he wanted to make when he made the first yeah like te Legend of Zelda. technology and the uh, capabilities just caught up man when i played this in 1992 because i played it as soon as it came out like i was hooked like Ooh. i played this game today iconic game doesn't really get any bigger than that for us anyway wolfenstein 3d came out may of 1992 this game right here revolutionized the first person shooter game and it is off Often hailed as the grandfather of first-person shooter games and it was listed as one of the greatest games of all time. This was the groundwork for what followed after it, which was Doom. You wouldn't have the Call of Duties. You wouldn't have Battlefield. You wouldn't have a uh, PUBG. I was gonna say PUBG. Yeah. What's the other one the kids play all the time? Fortnite. Fortnite. You know, you wouldn't have 007 yep. even. This was like to let you know that this was possible. Mega Man 5 dropped December 15th of 1992. This is the most 
most expensive one in the uh, series. Of NES. Of the NES, yeah. You know, it seems like six would be because that one would be a little mm -hmm. rarer. But, you know, hey, we have it in the collection over there. But yeah, Mega Man 5. So there's the iconic games of 1992. It's a pretty good list, man. I think it's cool that there were so many, there's a lot of different systems in there. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Because Wolfenstein was on the uh, computer. That's what I'm saying. Like, there's a lot of cool different games that were on multiple yeah. systems. Yep. We covered Genesis, Super Nintendo, computers. Regular Nintendo. NES. Let us know what we missed. Yeah, I'm sure we fucked up.